guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is a pack and ship with me. We have, as you guys can see, 21 orders to go out and four are due to be shipped out today. Um, so we'll see what progress we can make and also ship a few orders, I believe, on Poshmark. None on Mercari or Facebook Marketplace. So um, let's get started. Okay, the first item I pulled is this Roman Topical Solution. It's a regrowth um, treatment for men to regrow hair. Um, I sold this item for $13. Um, I took a best offer. I believe I had it listed at $20. I took a best offer because it expires this month, 0923. And I didn't want to have it sitting on eBay because eBay um, definitely takes down listings that are expired so $13 through shipping I will make just a little bit of money um, on that item then we sold this Toyota Tacoma um, license plate frame not sure why it's so sought after I guess I bought it a while ago um, and it sold for 30 bucks free shipping the this item I just purchased last week um, I was at a thrift store I talked to the people at the thrift store that work there and um, one of the one of the ladies that works there asked me what I what I sell because they know I'm a reseller and I told her what I sell and she said she had a few things um, that she wanted to sell and um so she brought those in i looked through them there were ps2 console controllers and some games and this was one of the games that she brought in it is sonic raider uh, riders for the ps2 it's complete with the manual and i sold that for 17 dollars with free shipping i picked up uh quite a few games and the ps2 for 60 bucks um, We agreed on 50. I didn't have change. So I gave her 60 Because she uh, sold me some other things. So that was definitely a good buy. This is the first item that sold and Yeah, I just bought it. I believe three days ago. So that's cool and the other thing that has to go out today is this BMW It's a pin. I Bought that in a huge bundle it's been a few years ago now with yeah a lot of these kind of pins Ferrari Porsche uh, cause I, you say Porsche stickers books and all kinds of things so um, I have all my money already recouped so all this is profit and this sold for eight dollars with free shipping I have still quite a few of these pins they sell slowly that's why um i sell them for eight to ten bucks with free shipping previously i had with shipping but since i recouped all my money and i want these to go out of my inventory i definitely have it with free shipping all right guys i pulled the next four items that sold over the weekend i pulled these ufos they sold over the weekend um, I did not know UFOs made these kind of shoes, but um, I picked them out because they look interesting. Um, I've had them for a little bit now in my inventory. I priced them high. I had them listed at $80 and somebody sent me an offer of $74 with free shipping and I took it. Then we sold a very, very old item. I mean, it's packed up, but um, I'll have the screenshot here. And it's a Disney Parks t-shirt, um, an adult medium, and I sold that for $15 with shipping. This is a very old listing. Um, I put it in these bags, wrote a number down. I'm trying to really get rid of clothing. It's for me, it's not enjoyable and it's a long tail item. And obviously I would not pick this up. This was very, very early on. I thought everything Disney would be great. 
to pick up and um, it is not. So always comp these things, but I'm glad that this is out for, as I mentioned, 15 with shipping. Then from a Facebook Marketplace deal that I did is this Coors Light beer tap handle. I mean, it's pretty cool, what I think. Not a beer that I drink, but it's a pretty cool tap handle. It has everything, you just need to screw it on. And this one sold for $25 with shipping. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dope, in my opinion. But not the beer that I would drink. And then another thing, um, and I just showed that in one of my previous ones, is another of these little BMW pins. I mean, it's, it's a small pin. And this one also sold for $8 uh, with free shipping. Alrighty, I pulled the next four items. <clears throat> the next item is this uh, Nike signed Washington Huskies football jersey number 24. Um, I bought that at a Salvation Army, I believe. Not quite sure why I bought it. There's a signature here there's no c of a or anything for it but um i like buying jerseys if i can get them for cheap um people like i'm not sure i understand no that was something else um but yeah i bought this and it sold for 25 dollars with free shipping i've had that for a while so i'm glad to see that go and sell then i pulled this there's a Black & Decker Space Maker. I always pick them up if I can, if they're in pretty clean condition. This is model EC85. It is missing what I call it, the spacers. They're like little plastic things, but other than that, everything is in here. I picked this up for eight bucks and it sold for 45 with free shipping. I always pick them up, loose, new. I like selling those and they sell, sell usually for pretty pretty good money. The other item that I picked is a Florida license plate. It's from 1962. It definitely has some good use that it had endured. And I sold this for $15 with shipping. And as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, in eBay you have to put a disclaimer that the license plate is older than three years and that it is expired. Otherwise, it will not let you list it. So any license plate that is newer, that is yeah, newer than three years, you will not be able to list per eBay requirements. So just keep that in mind. And to round off, these four things that I just pulled is another pin, but this time it's a Ferrari pin. Oh, well, this, this way. This is also in one of my bulk buys that I did previously. And um, yeah, that sold for $10 with shipping. I again have quite a few of those left, so um, I'm happy when they sell. Because I'm, I've made all my money back that I invested in it, so it's all pure profit at this point. Alrighty, I put pulled up, uh, pulled some more of my items that I currently have here in my office, and there are some other items that I don't have in my office that are in my storage unit, and I will put them up here. I will not have them physically here, but the this item, I have two of these. They are medical compression knee socks for men. Um, I had them originally listed for $40 with free shipping each. The customer messaged me and they said if I could do $35 a piece, they would buy both. And I took them. So this is yeah $70 with free shipping. Very easy to ship. And I've had them for a while. I bought them for too much um so i'm definitely glad to have them 
out of my inventory. Then we sold, as I always say in my videos when I find them, Cutco. Um, I bought this, but I did not notice when I bought it because <laughs> I was so excited that the handle is broken here, as you guys can see. So unfortunately, I didn't notice it. But this is Cutco and the model number is 1027. It is a serving carving fork. Um, and I made note that the handle is broken and it's still sold for $10 with free shipping. I had it at $15, but I took the $10 offer. I know that that buyer most likely will be able to ship that to Cutco and they will either fix it or replace it. So. $10 with free shipping. Always make sure that the items you pick up I am working order and not broken like this one. Um, then we sold this little Hot Wheels snow cone ice cream truck. I'm, I bought this years ago now. Probably two years ago. Um, in a big lot of Hot Wheels, cars, and just toy cars from a uh, thrift store that has closed now, unfortunately. Um, so I have no money into it anymore. And this one sold for $7.50 with shipping, free shipping. I got a great um, message from the buyer that that person's kid is totally into <laughs> ice cream trucks and they're very excited that I accepted the offer and they're looking forward to receiving this. So, cool. I, I like these kind of messages when um, someone's day is being made for their kid. So $7.50 with free shipping. Um, and then the other item that I have here, and that's a bigger item. Um, yeah, I yeah, don't know if you guys can see, but this is a brass, HD-4D-48SK gas hose connector for movable gas, uh, gas, gas appliances. Um, I bought that at uh, Salvation Army. I have two of these. This is the first one that sold. It's a bigger item, but it sold for $180 with shipping. Um, I was thinking about not picking it up because it's a bit larger item and I don't currently have a box for it so I will have to um, Frankenstein boxes or maybe ship it priority mail I have to see how the pricing comes out um, but I only paid 20 bucks so it was worth for me to um, once I looked up the comps to buy this and sell for 180 plus shipping and I still have one left so um, great profit and that is definitely the bolo and the best item that I sold this weekend from Friday through Sunday. All the other items are definitely smaller. So yeah, great pickup. It's just gonna be a pain to find a box for it since I don't have one currently. And it doesn't have to go out today, so that's that's better so I can still look for a box. And then the items that I don't have, and you guys will see the screenshots here, is this Papa Shango WWE wrestler. Um, I picked that up in a bulk lot over uh, about a year ago now and that one sold for a hundred dollars with free shipping then I sold these Olokai um, flip-flops for women I'm not sure why I picked them because I think yeah I picked them up for a dollar that's why they were used and abused um, I should have not picked them up but I did and those sold for $15 with free shipping. Shipping should be very cheap and I'll put them in a envelope and uh, probably five, six bucks. That would be my guess uh, for those. Then I sold these Cowgirl straight blue jeans. Uh, they're also at my storage unit and these sold for $29 plus shipping. I've stopped picking up pants or jeans um, because the one thing that I've learned is you gotta make sure to look out for any hemmed I think that's the word um, pants and make sure that that those are those and just with taking measurements that is just not for me I know there's pants out there that uh, 
go for a lot of money but it's it's just um i've had them for a while so clothing shirts jeans sweaters it's not my thing unless it's some home run that i can find other than that i will definitely not pick up clothing that's my preference personal preference and um then we sold another action ww action figure that's the undertaker flashback series 23 I sold this for $45 with free shipping. That's again from a big haul that I did last year from an estate sale. Then we sold this dog toy. It's a Bark Buster. Um, it looks like Black Buster, but it's Bark Buster. We paid a dollar for it and it sold for $15. And I have 16 more of those, it looks like, in my inventory. And then the one sale that we have from um, Poshmark and I'll get that up real quick yeah we didn't have uh, many sales on Poshmark and this weekend is this A6 beige uh, windbreaker jacket I also have that for a while um, I thought you know it looked old school and that would be great but it sat a long time in my, uh, in my uh, inventory and I sold that for $20 um, of course, uh, on Poshmark, the buyer pays shipping. So this runs out uh, my weekend sales from f uh, Friday through Sunday. Um, I'm pretty happy with what sold 22 things, I think, over the weekend. Um, so that's not bad. Um, a lot of you know low priced items but that's what gets the traffic into your in, into your um store and yeah it shows that there's activity in your store so i don't mind having them i will try not to pick up these lower um priced items but i'm glad they're going out going to a good home and um yeah it shows activity in my store so um yeah if you guys have any questions let me know thanks for watching um, subscribe like comment and um, i'll see you guys next time